From the 5AA Newsroom, I'm Claire Murphy and this is The Week That Was. A 29th Australian soldier has been killed in Afghanistan. Matthew Lambert died after he was wounded by a roadside bomb. His mates did their best to save him, taking him to the medical centre, but his wounds were too severe. He's from the 2nd RAR, based in Townsville. A convoy of trucks rolled into Canberra this week, calling themselves the Convoy of No Confidence. They said they'd lost faith in Julia Gillard and her carbon tax. Up to 9,000 people were expected to make the trek, but only 1,000 actually made it on the day, a point that the Labor government picked up on in question time, calling it the convoy of no consequence. A shocking story from Queensland with 11 people dying in a house fire south of Brisbane. Seven children died in the blaze, the youngest just three years old. It was thought a gas leak could have started the fire, but that's since been disproven with the LPG gas cylinders still intact. Police are still investigating. Ill Health has finally caught up with Apple CEO Steve Jobs. He's written a letter to the company saying he could no longer meet their expectations as CEO. He has been battling cancer for some time now. He's now handed the mantle over to Chief Operating Officer Tim Cook. Rundle Mall is about to get a new 85-store shopping complex. It's called Rundle Place, where the old Harris Scarf site used to be. The iconic SA store will be returning to the site, along with a whole bunch of other outlets and an office tower. They hope to have it open by 2013. The mighty South Aussies Foodland have jumped on board and also said no to Kiwi apples. Woolies and Coles have already said they won't be selling the fruit in their stores. Local growers say they are worried they may spread disease and wipe out the industry. Finally, some good news for the power with key defender Jackson Trengove signing on at the club for another two years. Coach Matthew Primus says they're really excited to have Jacko back on board, saying he is an asset not just on the field, but as a future leader at the club. I'm happy to uh, announce today that I've signed a new deal with Port Adelaide Football Club. Um, I'm proud to be a part of this football club and and really looking forward to uh, taking this football club to, to where we belong, which is right up the top of the ladder. AFL CEO Andrew Dimitriou has slammed a report that they will not help Port Adelaide financially after their three-year prop-up deal ends. He also maintains there is no plan to sack the team from the AFL, saying it's always been a plan to have two teams here in South Australia. This nonsense about oh, if we haven't got 18 teams, or, you know, there's stories going around they just put another team, as long as there's nine games, well that's crap too. I mean we actually have said ad nauseum with the support of the SNFL and the support of the Crows. We want two teams in South Australia. It's very important for the economic model, for the passion of this state to have a game every weekend in South Australia. To do that, you've got to have two teams. One's Adelaide and one's Port Adelaide. There's no new team coming in. There's no uh, games being bought out of Melbourne to be played here. And it's no good for the Adelaide Crows if they're playing once and then they play in another two weeks. So please, can people stop speculating and commenting about things they don't know anything about, particularly you, Jasper, whatever your name is. <laughs> Reality TV star Kim Kardashian has married her basketball man Chris Humphreys. The wedding ceremony cost around $20 million. She wore a dress designed by Vera Wang, inspired by Pippa Middleton's bridesmaid's dress. She was very sad on the day, however, that her dad could not be there, but was walked down the aisle by her stepdad, Bruce Jenner. This is a plot straight out of a Hollywood film. Richard Branson's Caribbean home was struck by lightning, burning it to the ground. His 90-year-old mother and 29-year-old daughter were home at the time, along with Hollywood actress Kate Winslet and her family. After Kate got her family out safe and sound, she carried Branson's mother to safety. Well, that was the week that was. For more on the stories you've just seen and more, go to 5AA.com.au, bringing you the news as it happens on 1395 5AA.